Hey guys, welcome back to MassiveSynth.com tutorials. This is part two of the trap feature we've been doing on Native Instruments Massive this month. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you some drum production stuff or drum synthesis stuff with Massive. Starting off, we're going to synthesize this kick drum. And then this kind of reverbed sort of kick for the top. So. And then layer them together for this kick drum sound, which is pretty cool. So we can start off with the kick and just create a new sound in Massive and use a sine wave for this kick drum basically. So I'm going to go for sine square, pitch it down two octaves, and then hit C3. And then pull this wavetable position to the left. So but blend a tiny amount of the square wave in just to give us a bit of a bit more character basically so next we can just go to the voicing section make the sound monophonic and go to this oscillator section just check the restart via gate just in case so we just get this nice re-triggering consistent sound take the glide off and let's go ahead and set up this pitch envelope basically to make the kick drum so drag the crosshair of this first envelope to the first pitch modulation slot and let's go up plus 24 so got something like that now and let's set up this pitch envelope so take the sustain off and then let's just play with this decay tail basically so Let's have a look at the frequency analyzer. So with that decay around just past, I'd say just a bit above quarter of the way up, we're getting quite a nice amount of thump around 60 or 70 hertz, which is pretty cool. That's kind of what we want for a kick drum really. And obviously if we want to go lower down the keyboard to get a bit of a lower kind of lower thump on that kick drum or higher up we can do so it's quite a lot of control over kick drums if you synthesize them so next thing to do is set the amp envelope and again sharpen up the attack take the sustain off and pull this decay to the left slightly so maybe it's pointing at the E and we can also drag this velocity macro to the amp section here so we've got a velocity sensitive kick drum which is pretty cool for MIDI programming and stuff so we can add a bit of tube here as well now go for the tele tube it's got a bit more of a raspier sort of top end I think the tele tube so and just dry wet and drive around both around two thirds of the way up and another thing we can do with this kick drum is set some top end using a noise generator here so with this noise generator I'm going to take it I'm going to change it to bright noise keep the color on full And it's quite nice to bring a little bit of that in. We could have a bit more control over it if we used an envelope, basically. So using the same envelope that we're controlling the pitch of oscillator one, control the amp of this noise. And we've got like a little hi-hat on top of the kick drum there. And we can actually control the level of that noise using a sidechain feature. So let's clear that vibrato macro and drag the first macro crosshair to the sidechain slot of this noise amp turn the sidechain on and check the arrow so it's pointing upwards so now we have a volume control for that hi-hat so so that's the kick drum set up there basically and I've got this riff I've got playing at F sharp so a bit lower to get it a bit more sort of boomy basically 
Okay. Let's move on to this kind of reverbed sort of distorted kick drum now. Okay, so let's start off by close the other kick drum and create a new sound in Massive and we're going to use sine waves again or mostly sine waves so oscillator 1 going to be a sine triangle or sine, sine square it doesn't really matter basically because we're not going to be using anything other than the sine wave on these oscillators so pull the wave table position all the way to the left take the pitch down two octaves and keep everything else the same, intensity on full, amp on full, no filters for this sound again so you can ignore this section in the routing and stuff. Oscillator 2, turn it on, sine square or sine triangle and then just wavetable position all the way to the left and everything else the same as oscillator 1 so down two octaves Oscillator 3, turn that on. This one's going to be a Sinformant wavetable. Pull the wavetable position to the left. So this one's like a sine wave basically, but it's just got some extra harmonics. So it's just going to give a bit of a different character to the sound. So intensity on full, amp on full, and take the pitch down by two octaves. And let's go and set some envelopes up now. So we're going to use an envelope to modulate the pitch of the three oscillators here. So we're holding shift, click and drag the crosshair and drop this in the first pitch modulation slot on all three oscillators. And then holding option or alt, click and drag up to go plus 12 on this pitch modulation amount. And Let's set this envelope up now. So sharp attack, attack level on full, pull the decay around to, so it's pointing it around the D, no sustain. Let's go to the voicing section next, make the sound monophonic, take the glide off. Let's add some classic tube now just to beef the sound up. And take the dry wet and the drive down a little bit, so around about there, maybe a, just a bit past third of the way up. Add some reverb as well. It's giving that nice sort of tail to the sound. And just pull the dry wet down slightly size can come down, push the density and colour up a little bit. Let's add a bit of feedback as well. Be careful with this, I've got it about halfway but if you notice if you go a little bit past that and it goes a bit out of control so just be careful with that. It's just bringing the sound out quite a bit. I think the amp envelope needs to come next, so sharpen up the attack on this, get the level on full and sustain down to zero. And what we could actually do with this as well, just to give a bit of variety with this sound, rather than using the velocity to the amp slot to have that kind of velocity change, we could use the velocity to control the decay of the amp envelope. So, we either get a short, sharp hit like that, or kind of hard on the hard key press will give us more decay on the on the sound so we can also add some sample and hold which just distorts it even more
and on its own it's not like the fullest or fattest sound ever but layered with a kick drum as we've got here And also check that restart via gate button which kind of boosted the sound and held it together a little bit more there and just take the master down so I've also got an EQ on this sound just rolling off any of that bottom end so we solo this sound Take that off. It's just taken that that kind of weight off because we've got the weight on the kick drum, so don't really need it. But just laid with it, it kind of sounds quite nice. So. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, I hope you found it useful, hopefully it's given you some ideas for synthesizing your own trap style drum hits using Massive and yeah, any questions please get in touch and hope to see you again soon, cheers, bye.